Hi guys, if you guys are interested in seeing how the fuck I made tonight's delicious dinner, keep on watching. I'm gonna post a long story. So disclaimer, if you're not down, like don't watch, but you guys who are down, uh, yeah, so let's see how I made tonight's dinner. Hi fam, I hope you guys are having a good night. I'm having a good night right now, I'm preparing dinner. For tonight's dinner, we're going to be having some chicken, uh, some grilled chicken with some brown gravy and mashed potatoes on the side with some mushrooms. Ugh, so freaking delicious. Um, corn on the cob and then I thought we had like the Pillsbury like rolls, but no, they're crescents. So we're going to have some Pillsbury crescents on the side. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. Let's get started, baby. Okay guys, so so far I peeled the chicken skin, uh, I peeled it off of the chicken drumsticks and I put it on this um, pan right here. You guys aren't going to see like uh, until like the end, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to get creative. So for the brown gravy, um, it calls for one and a half cups of water, so I figure the water will be the chicken broth from in here to make it like extra freaking delicious. And then I'm about to cut up some mushrooms. Uh, so I can like saute some mushrooms first and then add in the gravy mix. Ugh, like I said, I'm be so hungry. So that's the plan. And so I'm going to add some caldo de pollo in here to of course make it like more like delicious. And then right now I'll preheat the oven to make the crescent. The crescents, porque como te digo, like I thought we had the rolls, but no. The crescents, but they're going to have to do. And then right now, uh, once the potatoes are like, like, uh, like uh, mashable, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so right now when the potatoes are like mashable, I'm gonna add some milk, sour cream, uh, some seasonings, or maybe I should do it now. No, 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 because I'm gonna drain the the water. So when I drain the water, add the seasonings and all the extra ingredients. Uh, again, I don't cook with butter because like, mm, butter's bad, but it's okay. <laughs> We're like filling in the badness with extra gravy. <laughs> um, so what else, what else? Oh, and I figure like once I uh, drain out, uh, the chicken broth that I'm trying to create then I'm gonna like leave it of course on the flat top or on the pan so it can like sear and get like extra golden brown mm -mm -mm. yeah so you guys stay tuned uh, don't miss it because it's gonna be extra freaking delicious okay so this is where I'm at so far again that's boiling um, so it's like mashable this I'm creating my chicken broth so as like the juices start flowing and so forth. I'm gonna transfer this over in here. So this um, is my mushrooms that I'm gonna saute along with some minced garlic. You know, get it nice and brown, get all the juices flowing, and then I'm gonna uh, move this into here and mix that with my um, brown gravy. I might even do like two, two packets. I don't know, I don't know yet. And then this is, of course, my corn on the cob. Simple, easy, but it's gonna be freaking delicious. When I say that, I mean the juice. I'm gonna leave my chicken, um, my chicken drumsticks in here. I'm gonna season them uh, once all the water's out and transferred in there. I'm gonna season it and let it get golden brown with the seasonings I'm gonna put. And then once these are cooked all the way and my gravy is uh perfect um of course the mashed potatoes are done and then this fucking fast right fast and easy i'm gonna be putting the gravy over on top of the chicken mm, i freaking can't wait oh and then the oven is preheating right now so i can add the crescents let me start that too croissants are ready to go in the oven so now the juice is ready uh, to go ahead and make the gravy and so i can start like go making these kind of like golden brown and adding more seasoning the potatoes are ready so i'm gonna make mashed potatoes and then i'm gonna make the gravy in this pot because i figure you have to like whisk it and make it like super like delicious and then you can add um the the mushroom so i'm gonna start sauteing that so it's gonna be moving really quick up in here now so i went ahead and drained out the potatoes i'm gonna be adding uh, a little bit of milk in here just like whatever feels right so i'm just going to be adding that in there so it can get nice and warm and then i'm going to be transferring uh, everything over in here so i can add the whipped cream and my seasonings and some mixed cheese so let's do it okay guys so the potatoes are nice and ready to smash i added the milk in there already so i'm just going to transfer it in here and I only added the milk in here so it's, it stays hot, like, because I use almond milk and I don't know if it's good or bad, but whatever. <laughs> it's still good anyway. Um, If I put it in cold, like, it doesn't, it's not the same, you know, so I make it, I warm it up so it mixes better. You feel me? 
So I'm mashing this up. Oh, and I also brought my extra ingredients or my favorite ingredients, salt. Oops. Pepper. Ooh, come on. My laptop already gave out on me because I've been hearing music like all day. Garlic. Onion powder. Okay, so I added um, whatever was left of the of my sour cream, and I'm gonna be adding some uh, mixed cheese in there. It's gonna come out so delicious. I can already smell it, baby girl. So let's get to smashing. And then I already started the the mushrooms, so they're sautéing or they're like getting nice and juicy right now. And then I'm gonna be adding the minced garlic here in a second. And then I'm gonna be using the same pot that I made this and I'm gonna rinse it out so I can make the gravy on the side so I can like whisk it and make it like super delicious with the juice from the chicken and then still like kind of grill the chicken a little bit more and then add more seasoning she almost done girl and then the croissants or the crescent roll things are already in the um, oven for that one I'm kind of scared like because again we don't cook with butter like I don't cook with butter so like I hope they don't stick like to the bottom like ugh. so we're gonna find out girl like that one like I don't know we're gonna find out alrighty guys so I already drained out my chicken and this is the chicken broth that we're going to make our gravy with. So it's going to freaking come out so freaking delicious. So it's about a cup. And I figured like I should make two packs. Because like what if like we love the gravy and we want more and we don't have any. Um, so it calls for one and a half cups for every pack. So that means I need three cups. So this is going to be one cup. So I need to add two more cups of water to make my gravy. And let me show you guys the mushrooms. Because the mushrooms are going to come out good too. So these are the delicious mushrooms. I added the minced garlic and I already turned it off. So that they can continue like you know getting juicy inside uh of the gravy mix so uh yeah so continue watching to see how they come out i went ahead and seasoned um my chicken so now they can get like nice and golden brown and like toasty so that's basically what it is um this is still making or my gravy is still making my corn on the cob is already boiling and that's pretty much it guys so we're almost done finally Okay, guys, finally done with the dish. Let me show you guys meal. Mmm, we have our crescent, our mashed potatoes with the skin, with um, mixed cheese, it has mushrooms, our grilled chicken with mushrooms, and the gravy. The gravy, I, I, I couldn't wait for it to like get thick, so I just like put it on top and then corn, yay! 